same thing for Thanksgiving for I don't know how long. And one of the favorites of my family is this mashed sweet potato and um, banana dish with honey. It's just it's just rich and wonderful and it's got a praline top. So we're gonna go through how to do it. I've already baked the potatoes. So they have to bake for about an hour. You know, your recipe says, I think it says 40 minutes or 45 minutes. Rarely will you find potatoes that'll be done that quick. Um, and so test them, bake them until they're done, um, nice and soft. Then with about 10 minutes left when they're almost soft, throw your whole unpeeled bananas on the roasting pan and roast those. They'll turn black and they get real soft and sugary inside and they get thick and juicy and they're just wonderful. So what I'm gonna do is, and I'm using, um, I always find that my hands are the best utensil that I have. And, and so we're gonna put um, all of the potato in the bowl. I doubled the recipe for today because I knew there were a lot of ladies and I have a feeling that after you taste it, you'll want seconds. So. <laughs> Depends if they want food. I think there'll be enough. Oh. And so we're going to do that. And so I have a combination. I have to tell you, it's not easy to find potatoes. Um, sweet potatoes are pretty ugly and, and small. And so I have a combination of, of, as you see, a regular sweet potato. Went to Sprouts at, thinking they didn't have sweet potatoes at Price at 44th Street and, and Thomas, believe it or not. They didn't have any sweet potatoes. So I went to Sprouts and they had a handful, but not enough that were good to pick through. And so I also, for the first time, got white sweet potatoes. So I think um, it may, it'll may it change the color maybe a little bit. We'll see what it looks like. Hi. It's a sweet potato. I've never had a white sweet potato before. So, but that's all they had. It's really interesting what um, is going on. Also, I for the next recipe, um, which is actually a new addition um, that I had in Israel and um, during our last trip to Israel, and it's a great fresh salad. And I have to say that I never make salad for Thanksgiving because why waste time <laughs> with salad when there's potatoes and turkey and stuffing? But this is a really nice, fresh um, side dish. At any rate, um, the celery, it's a celery salad. Usually when you go to a fresher market like a Sprouts or a uh, Whole Foods, you get celery with the leaves on top. The leaves always add such a good flavor, different flavor than the celery. Um, and, and it's always nice to add that uh, to a salad. Number one, it, it looks pretty and uh, helps just increase the flavor of that one. So here we go. It's a white, it's a, it's a white, anybody ever see a white sweet potato before? It's, I don't know the difference between What's, a yam, a sweet potato and a good I don't one. either. I was gonna ask you about- Yeah, no, yeah. I know. Yeah, is that the same as uh, No, and I don't know what the difference is. So I, I apologize. We don't know. My, know my botany, I don't know everything. You know, it's almost. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix the uh, butter. Enough it's actually, it's not butter. You can. Pinky is going to be right in there. And they're gonna, there's going to be a lot of liquid coming out of the banana. That's perfectly fine. Sweetness. It's exactly what you want. Exactly. It's the sugar that that comes out. Yeah, this is really wonderful. Um, we're making it with a dairy free margarine. If you're cooking um, with uh, for a turkey, you're going to want to make sure that the margarine, you know, the one confusing thing about margarine, you think margarine's kosher, but most of them say kosher dairy. So you have to really look and make sure that it is kosher par margarine. We've got the sounds of the little kids. Are the bananas, when we started out with the bananas, you they were a regular banana, they weren't green. 
Yeah, they didn't have to be. They weren't too ripe because if they're too ripe, they're going to get just too mushy. So, and you know, as the monkey says, the best way to peel a banana oh, is from this pot, yeah. yes. not this yeah. pot. So because this peeling it the right way. Right. The monkey said, ha, 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 ha. If you watch a monkey, that's how he will peel the banana. That is. Mm -hmm. You've never. You, you've never heard of that? I never have either. Right, absolutely. Research it. Ah. So interesting. I don't know. I'm just a monkey. I learned that on the National There you go. Ah. <laughs> Got it. We got it. Okay. Got all, this, all of this. Thank so, you. right. Thank you. I, I just want to be sure that I'm in the picture. There we go. So I'm going to refer to my, um, even though I make this every year, I still always have to refer to my uh, recipe. Yes, we okay. are. Why, thank you so much. So I'm going to just, I know it's so lovely. Um, it calls for, so I'm going to, put the butter in. I brought a couple different pairs of gloves because I'm going to put in all the ingredients. So put in I where Okay, got it. So I'm going to put in the butter, margarine, part of margarine. I call it butter. But it's part of margarine. Um, we have so that that goes on the top and a half a cup of honey where's the honey yeah but we're doubling yeah we're doubling so and i also have to say that it's not cake so when you cook you can be creative you can add a little more honey if you like honey you can leave the honey out you can substitute maple syrup for honey um, anything that gives it the sweetness and the thickness. So we're going to get a half a cup of honey, kind of, doesn't matter what kind of honey. If you want a flavored honey, use an orange, always gives a nice bright taste to it. Put on my glove. There we go. Oh, she's going to pretend she's in the sandbox. I know. She's it's the best warm. part. It's a little warm. Pretty good stuff. Got it? <clears throat> Usually when I cook, perfect. Okay. There we go. All righty. I'm going to get the margarine going with the heat of the as soon as the potatoes and the uh bananas are easy to handle go ahead and do it because it'll mix all of your ingredients together you know what i need some salt and pepper you want to do a little salt and pepper even though it's a sweet dish the salt will bring out all the flavors of all of your ingredients and it's interesting color now with the white um you, can you see it? It's really, really interesting. So you can use a potato masher. Your directions say use a wooden spoon. Um, as I say, my, my best utensil are my hands. You can control a lot. You can feel if you've got lumps in here. Um, as Thank you so much. As in any kind of potato, uh, mashed potato, you don't want lumpy potatoes. So we're going to. Just. It's melting in here because the potatoes are hot. Yep, yep. I took them out, let them rest at about for about 15 minutes. So they still had some heat to them. Right, it's melting in there. And then we're going to do a praline top for it. And um, I put this bowl, but it, it seemed to have cooled down really quickly. Put that bowl in the oven just to get the bowl hot. <clears throat> and we're gonna do this. You can use your mix master with your paddle attachment, not the uh, whisk. This is too thick for you to whisk and I 
think that's why with the wooden spoon, you mash it against the side and that way you can get all of your, it's a really pretty color. <clears throat> Pardon? You could, it's just one more thing to wash. <laughs> I like to keep it simple. No. And it. Yes. No. Like like spaghetti or whatever. Yes. But you. It's, I mean, that's for me. That's really difficult to clean. So when I look at it in the store and I think, you know, I don't have one of those. I always know why. Because I never want to clean it. Ah. Oh, okay. So, ooh, it's a good arrangement. We will when we're ready to um, do them. So I'm going to put, you're going to season to salt, season salt and pepper to taste a little bit. just to bring out the flavor, give it a little savoriness. Nope. 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 Because you don't want it to be like a pumpkin pie. It's a side dish. And so <laughs> you've got the sweetness of your um, cranberry sauce. And yeah, so I'm just squeezing the, the lumps. out. Always. Always. It's always, it's the best. Yeah, it's the best implement. It, it gets the job done well. Absolutely. It is a little lumpy. I'm trying to get it perfect and I don't want to take all your time of getting this perfect. So, you know what, it's probably going to fit in one. Now, like I said, I, you know, it double kind of the potatoes and the bananas. And it, okay, <clears throat> if, do you want to, you can have it, use a spoon or you want to use your hands to spray, in. yeah, spray the pan and put it in there. And in the meantime, I'm going to get the praline right. top going. Okay. So I believe it can. Yeah, you know what? Do half and half so it'll bake up quicker. That sounds good. So my daughter-in-law is from New Orleans and um, can't say praline like us uh, <laughs> northerners. <laughs> they're praline. They're pralines. Yes, they're pralines. So we're going to do that praline. Isn't it lovely? It's very lovely. It'll be a little lumpy. You'll forgive us. Um, and so I have the margarine in here. I'm going to put in, I've already weighed out the flour. And again, this is the best. You could use a pastry cutter. You could do whatever. But the directions also say, put it together with your fingers. You do want little lumps of the margarine in there. The original recipe, I have to tell you, calls for butter. But because, you know, it's not a kosher thing. Um, it's a stick. One stick. So the recipe will tell you two sticks. One stick is for here and one stick is one sticks for the potatoes and one stick is for, got it? So I have a cup of flour that I've already weighed out and I have um, brown sugar. So it's three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and a half cup. What's that? Oh, I didn't bring it. My, my, uh, yeah. Anita's one. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But because it's with turkey. So in, so kosher, um, dictates that we do not mix milk and meat. And so, um, yeah, we don't mix milk and meat. So we use, what we call parv products, which kind of non, uh, um, it's non-dairy, thank you. 
I was going to say non-meat, non-dairy. It covers all the... It's like Switzerland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And as I say, a lot of margarines, when you go to the store, I believe Imperial is the only one that's oh, is it either Imperial or Fleischmann. I'm not sure. Ones that are not... Um, you know, we got a picture of people. Out oh, that's oh, that's how it looks. Am I? Yo, you can see me. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. So I have the brown sugar in there. And then uh, I'm going to mix that up before I put the nuts in. Do I have another glove? Or did I use all my gloves? Let me go get another glove. Thank you. So, um, the the nuts i have all i roast them you buy them raw you can buy them roasted but when you roast when you add nuts to any recipe whether it's a cake uh whether it's a savory dish a side dish i think to bring out the nuttiness and give it a really extra terrific flavor roast them first it doesn't take long 350 in the toaster oven for five minutes watch them because nuts can burn really really quickly so um, I always will roast, uh, and, and I did today as well. This one calls for pecans, which are here. And I roasted them this morning, and it also gives such a nice, fresh smell. That's in your recipe, um, cup and a half, about a cup and a half. Eyeball it. Yeah. Use walnuts, whatever nut. You can use pistachios. You found your I did not. I'm Is that one for me? You. Okay, thank you. Want another one? No. No. Because mm -mm, they already have the oils in it. So here we go. Can you see? There we go. We'll squeeze the butter, margarine. I'll get it right. There we go. My brown, my brown sugar also has lumps. So hard to keep brown sugar. Bread in. That's what I really. And. That's funny. Really, how interesting. We learned two new things. Uh huh. And bananas. Banana. Banana. Yes. Yes. So this is a real, real easy do ahead. Um, you can roast your potatoes ahead of time, roast your bananas ahead of time if you want to do it a day ahead. Put it in the refrigerator, however, so they stay fresh. Um, if it's a last minute thing, you've got your potatoes hot and they don't have to be in the oven for very long once you do it. Um, and so if you only have one oven and you've got your turkey in there, you've got other things going, this will be a real quick thing to heat up. It's you want to heat it until the um, praline top, praline top. I can't say the praline in front of my daughter in law anymore. And um, once it browns up and, and everything is melted and it's just yummy, yummy, and delicious. You can make it the day before. If you, you could, don't make it and freeze it, but you can make it a day or two before, assemble the whole thing. Always, always, when you're heating something that you've made before, I always work hard to bring it to room temperature. If I remember to take it out, because then you're not baking it as long. You're not taking out all the moisture that's there by baking it longer than it needs to. Because first, when you put it in the oven, you've got to get it down to room temperature. And then it bakes. And so if it's already or at least close to room temperature, um, you don't have to use your oven for very long. And then you're not compromising uh, any of the moisture that's in your dish. So it's a great, like I said, it's a great side dish. Um, I do it instead of regular mashed potatoes. I know mashed potatoes are a real big, not everybody likes sweet potatoes, but um, this somehow has a very, very interesting flavor. I'm going to put in the pecans. As I say, you can do, you know what, it's so, when you cook, you also have to cook to your taste. And, and we're not talking about baking cakes. Baking cakes, pies, cookies, that's all chemistry. Cooking isn't chemistry. Cooking is about how you like the taste of something, what kinds of ingredients you like, 
Um, I'm just trying to smash up the. It is. And you know what? You know what you like and you know what you don't like. So if you don't like walnuts in, in that's coming into the next salad, if you don't like walnuts, use almonds, use pecans, use the nuts that you do like. If you if people are in your family are not sensitive, don't use nuts at all. So it's very, very flexible when you cook. If it's when you bake, just don't use that recipe. <laughs> No, oh, there we go. Everybody can see that. And it's nice and crumbly. And you're just going to sprinkle it on top and put it in the oven 15 minutes. Serve it hot. And while it's cooking, we're going to put together this celery salad. Yes, yeah. sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sweetie. Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Nope, you do it. Okay. So Pinky will sprinkle. There we go. Um. Okay. Yeah. Good. So uh, the next dish is a really, really interesting salad. It's very, very fresh. It's very, very bright. It's very, very easy to make. Um, a year ago, I know a lot of you know, some of you know, but the newer ladies don't. Last year, my husband and I went on a culinary trip through Israel, and we went with uh, the author of a kosher cookbook, and we she cooked for us, and we met with amazing chefs who cooked for us. We cooked. It was just, it was a fabulous time. This was one. This was a part of a dinner that she made for us and and our welcome when when the group first got there. Um, it's so different and it's so delicious. So I already again I doubled the recipe. Um, it's so flexible with the amount. It'll tell you this is the celery salad. So it says. Uh, three large or four medium stalks of celery, just however many people you're having and whatever looks right to you. So I did two whole um, bunches, let's say, of celery. I diced them. I did bring some just to demonstrate the dice to you, whole ones, uh, and I will show you that in a sec. I'm gonna save all of these. Yes, yes, for like, do you need me to set a timer? Absolutely. Do you need me to set a timer? You go ahead. I do in my pocket. I have my handy phone. Huh? 15 minutes. I'll set my timer. Oh, you? Oh, he, he, he spoke it to his phone. You know, this new technology, I'll tell you. So, here is, and I'm going to move this over for a second because I want to, um, I don't have great knife skills, frankly. I've, I've thought a number of times about doing knife skill classes, but knives really scare me. And not to, and, and I already sliced a piece of finger off using a mandolin. And so, uh, and that you have to be really careful. A, a mandolin is, if you don't know, is, is a very, very sharp razor type. A vegetable slicer and and so and I do have a I, I got smart I bought this glove it's like a mesh metal and I I still have nine and like three quarters fingers so um in this recipe it asks you for uh get celery with the leaves Again, the celery leaves add a, a different texture, but add a really extra celery type flavor. So just to show you, and, and I've already washed everything at home. I always cut off the white end. You can see that. I always cut off the white end. Depending upon the size of your celery stalk. This one is small, so I'm just making a, and, and just dice it along. The sharper the knife, the better. I use Japanese knives. They're expensive, but boy, oh boy, are they excellent. They're so easy. Um, the key to a, a 
great meal is a great knife. It makes cooking so much easier when you have to struggle to get through the skin of any any vegetable or you're trying to cut through um, a, a just a, a good knife is is what does it. So we have the celery, which I've diced already. I'm going to use the celery leaves and I'm going to give them. Yes, you can see. And I'm going to give them just a nice chop. You can have this that celery stems in there, which is fine. We're going to get these. It's uh, if you shop at Whole Foods, you should be able to get celery fries in those markets. They cut them off. Um, I guess it, it's easier for them to bag, but um, it loses so much. So, but this was a good stalk of celery because it's got the leaves in the middle. So none on the top. I did. I did. Go get them. Go get them and wash them off. Now, the next is um, Italian parsley. It's okay to get the stems in. Here's a real easy way to, you can keep your band on it. Um, There's so many different ways to cut fresh herbs, to cut fresh parsley. Chiffonade is one way. Uh, parsley is not as easy to do. This is Italian flat leaf. It has a very different flavor. It's not quite as bitter as the curly leaf. But if you take a sharp knife, we'll go down there, there you go, and just, Cut off the ends like that. You'll get some sticks. It's fine. I know I did. I threw it away. And then we're going to do a rough chop. I know. Waste not, want not, right? Yeah. Oh, we could have made a soup, too. There we go. So we're going to put the celery leaves in there. Do this with cilantro. It makes it so much easier. You don't have to pull it apart. We'll just have a, a very sharp knife. Yeah, you need a very sharp knife. And then a real nice rough chop to it. You don't want uh, two small pieces. You want to be able to see it. You want to be able to taste it. She's right. If you saved all of that, you can make a wonderful vegetable stock. The start of um, a vegetable, I know, freeze it for, for liquid for your stuffing. And that way you don't have to buy chicken stock to put it in there. Okay, I'm going to move the bowl over here because I am done with this. Thank you. Okay, so the recipe, that's it. That's the most you have to do for this lovely, wonderful salad. I have um, walnut. Oh, I'm going to need that because I want to chop up some of the walnuts. So I'm going to use that. Um, it calls for a tablespoon of raisins, a tablespoon of cranberries, a tablespoon of uh, raisins, and a handful of walnuts. So I would say, do it to taste. If you want to put sour cherries in here, do it. If you want to put dried blueberries in here, do it. Anything that you think would be interesting that would make a beautiful presentation and give it a delicious flavor. So I'm just going to eyeball the golden raisins. And I have some others to put in there. I don't want to waste any of them. I don't want to upset Pinky today. I bought, oh, it's too late. I bought some golden raisins at Sprouts, which were really enormous. So we're going to put another handful in there because we'll add some sweetness 
to the dinner, add some sweetness to the world, which we could use these days. Um, cranberries, I'll do a handful of cranberries. And a handful of raisins. So put that there. Uh, we'll see right there. Yes. I'm going to chop some walnuts that I've also roasted. If um, you need a great knife sharpening uh, place, there's a place on Indian School and 48th Street called The Knife Shop. And they do all the professionals. They, they sharpen knives for most of the restaurants in town and they do a gorgeous job. So uh, knives really need to be sharpened every once in a while. If you know how to use a... Um, what do they call the no what do they call that right yeah. that that long metal you really need to be able to uh, the, but they do skilled to no 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 they you need to really be skilled to use one of those a sharpening whatever oh to sharpen a knife yes to sharpen oh, a so knife okay. and then the ones that you drag through they're they'll just ruin your knife it's always best to have a professional um sharpen your knives. And we're also gonna give these a rough chop. There's there's something about roasting nuts that takes the rawness out of it. I think it's a better mouthfeel also. Oh, I should move over here, huh? Sorry, I'm glad I've looked up. Um, it gives a better mouthfeel when, when you roast. I don't like the texture of, of raw nuts. So uh, that's another, I think I might do a couple more nuts. Pardon? Yeah, 350 in the toaster oven. Um, Not too long. Yeah, no, less. You can smell it. They're going to start the edges of, of your pile of nuts. The edges are going to start getting dark first. Move them around, shuffle them like every two minutes. And, and don't do it for more than five. But look at it. You can see and you can smell. Once it smells burnt, it's too late. <laughs> I know. Good roll of thumb, huh? No. Oh, if I could, I'll throw them in Good so idea. that you don't get mad. Good idea. I was, I was going to take did, them home. Ah, I did save some of the celery leaves from the celery that I chopped up at home. So I'm just going to throw them in here. I think maybe we'll do a few more nuts in there. Since we have them. Wait, is this your recipe book from, the, from last year? Yes. Look how well she is. Yeah. There's fabulous recipes in there. So everything that we ate and, and prepared was in that book. It was really a wonderful trip. Here again, I'm going to use my hand to mix this because it's nothing like your hand. Um, it calls for a quarter and where's the let's see, quarter and a quarter. I'm going to use a half and a half. Maple syrup. <laughs> Maple syrup's not cheap. That was just about a half. So we'll do that. And if we need to adjust and do a little bit more, and uh, toasted, roasted sesame oil. There's such a wonderful flavor of sesame oil. Which is that? Trade, um, smart and final. Although normally I go to the Mekong market at Dobson and Main, which is a Chinese market 
and they also have amazing fresh fish. Amazing fish swimming around. You can't get it fresher. Um, don't go on a Tuesday because they've sold everything for the weekend. And then what's kind of hanging out there, you don't want to buy. So look at all these cuties coming by. Hi. Look at all these cuties. <laughs> and then... We're just going to mix it up. As I say, your hand is your best implement. It's a really simple salad. Um, you don't want to make it uh, in any salad. You don't want to dress it. You can cut everything and put them in separate containers so that when you're ready to put your salad together, you put it together when your company comes. And here we are. And it just the smell of the sesame is so delicious. There we go. And it's beautiful and easy and it'll wow your guests. Cause it's so different. You put salt? Um, no. Okay, mm -mm. Says you could. Good. No, if you wanted to, if you tasted it and you felt like you needed, but the, the, the sesame oil is so pungent and strong that it has such a unique flavor that you really don't need the salt. And then the sweetness of the um, maple syrup. And there we are. Do you any questions? Uh, anybody? Oh, Smart and Final. There's a great Smart and Final at Tatum and Thunderbird. Um, it's a great market. It's they they sell um, bulk size items. I I don't know that they're they're they Smart and Final started out in Los Angeles where I I lived. Um, Smart and Final started out as a restaurant supply business. And, and so whenever I would have a, a large dinner or a big party, I would go to Smart and Final. And to come here to find it was really um, um, a joy. And, and they sell bulk, they sell these containers and lids. They're really very reasonably priced. Ooh, I don't, so Smart and Final. Oh, yeah. Yep. So we're, how much more time for the potatoes? Minutes, doesn't too brown. You want to dark brown, last brown? I'll go look. Okay. Excuse me. Pinky will tap dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here I We don't want you to bring it We just raise that two, yes. three. So you had this is three seventy five. That's fine. Yeah, it's solid perch. Do you want me to put five minutes on or means? No. We just keep checking it. Yes. So we're gonna serve the salad first because the potatoes are still the praline. Uh, yeah. You want? Pardon? So I'm going to put them out here. You're welcome to come up. A little more. How many are we? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. Smells good from here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't it? That's going to take me when I'm walking. Oh, I'll take them home. This is all my, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yum, huh? So different and so easy. It's so fresh because it's so different and and easy, as I say. And if you have a good knife, seriously, it'll be you'll get this done in half the time. Oh, Patty, when I explain, okay, so I, I I'm just gonna. Last week I saw Patty at our senior lunch, and she said, "So what are you making?" <laughs> Everything I described, she curled her lip, she wrinkled her nose. She, I don't like any, I don't like anything green. <laughs> green is not my favorite color. And do you like it? Nuts. Oh, you are hysterical. Well, I could give you a plate of nuts if you prefer. Pardon? How many more? Um, yes. And the rabbi. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Sprouts. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. There we go. We'll grab some for Pinky. There we go. What do you think? Comments. And? Oh, okay. Well, wait, example, <laughs> celery salad, <laughs> I'm surprised she's here, <laughs> but there you go. So it's really good and it's really fresh and it's really easy and it's healthy and it's easy to throw together and it's all natural ingredients and it, it's just really very, very nice. You're not bogged down with salad dressing with um, a lot of sugar and a lot of, it, it, there's no salt. It's just, it's a great, great taste, I think. So there we are. And it's a great Israeli salad. And I have to say that in Israel, the, it, it, their salads are so unbelievable when you go to Israel and you go to a restaurant and, and they just put out take 15 out. or 20 different salads. Does it look done on top? Like that. Enjoy. Let me see. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh, you, I, I gave you a play. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have a fork? Yeah. Hold on to your fork because we'll. Uh... Yeah. Nice for a change. Exactly. It's a nice different salad. It um, it goes with everything because it's it's a parv. It's pardon. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, everything's on. Be careful with that knife, though. Yeah. Do you hear what kind of maple syrup? Um, it was Trader Joe's brand. Oh, Trader Joe's. Yeah, it was Trader Joe's brand of maple syrup. So, yeah, I mean, I do most of my shopping there. So whatever ingredients I get, uh, no matter what, either comes from Trader Joe's, always um, produce, it sprouts. Not that I'm doing a commercial, but... I find that their produce lasts longer in my refrigerator than in a surprise or safe way. It's always like months old by the time you get it. So there we are. I have, do you want seconds? Anybody want a little, anybody want a little more? You can come up, bring your plate. We have some more, like another spoonful. Otherwise, 
Well, I, I, 